and Vivian's going in with a fist, and Gervais is first away, and all oh has turned himself over. My name is Megan Ruth, I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to some more Monty Python. I'm going to be reacting to Upper Class Twit of the Year. If you're new here, I have already reacted to some Monty Python sketches. I'll post a link to that playlist down below. But yeah, let's just get started. Good afternoon and welcome to Brandley Park. And you join us just as the competitors are running out onto the field on this lovely winter's afternoon with the going firm underfoot and very little sign of rain. And it looks as though we're in for a splendid afternoon sport on this, the 127th Upper Class Twit of the Year show. And there's a big crowd here today to see these prize idiots in action. Vivian Smith by Smith. He's in the Grenadier Guards and he can count up to four. Simon Zink Trumpet Harris. He's an old Etonian and married to a very attractive table lamp. Nigel Incubator Jones. His best friend is a tree and in his spare time he's a stockbroker. Gervais Brook Hamster. He's in the wine trade and his father uses him as a waste paper basket. And finally, Oliver Sinjin Mollusk, another old Etonian. His father was a cabinet minister and his mother won the derby and he's thought by many to be this year's outstanding clip. And now the twits are moving up to the starting line and any moment now they'll be under starter's orders. Uh, I'm afraid they're facing the wrong way at the moment, but the starter will soon sort this out. And any moment now, we're going to have the big off. This is always a tense moment. And they're off! No, no, they're not. <laughs> no, they didn't realise that they had to start with the gunway. Never mind, I think the starters explained to them now. Yes, several of them are getting the point. And they're ready again. And off again. This time, yes, a really fast start. And it's Vivian going straight to the lead. Oliver's running rather wide to the right. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Uh, and at the left, he'll soon pick up the line. Yes, there we are. And into the first event, which is walking along the straight lines. The twits have to walk along these lines without falling over. Uh, this is Oliver's worst event. He's having a little trouble at the back. Simon's coming through fast. Nigel's coming through. Vivian's doing well, and Oliver's over. Oliver's over at the back. Never mind. He'll get up and have another go. He's a great fighter, this lad. He's having the... Oh, dear, never mind. Well, we're coming to the second event now, which is the matchbox jump. Two layers of matchboxes for the Twitch to clear. Nigel's over, and Simon over's a wonderful jump, and Vivian... Vivian has refused. And now it's kicking the bigger. And Nigel to put the brogue in there. Oh, beautifully placed in another oh. turn. And the bigger is down and the crowd really love that. And here we are, it's Oliver. He hasn't cleared the jump yet. He's having a little trouble with the old brain problem. Oh, if only his father could understand. Go oh, now. It's running over the old lady. It's Simon in the lead. And he's got it beautifully right in the middle of Accelerating forward now. Oh, we're back to Oliver. Oh, he's a magnificent. This man, he doesn't know when he's beaten. He doesn't know when he's winning either. He has no sort of sensory apparatus known to man. Bad luck, Oliver. And now it's waking the neighbour. Simon's there in the front of the field and he's slamming that door and he's woken the waiver. Simon's through clean in the first place. Can the crowd are really excited at this moment? And now it's shooting the rabbits. These rabbits have been carefully staked out to the ground so they can't move around too much as this is only a one-day event. There's a bit of mist there which I think is causing the twits a bit of trouble. And Gervais is using the butt of his rifle. Uh, and Vivian's going in with a fist. And Gervais is first away. And all oh the has turned himself over. What a great <laughs> whip. And now it's taking the brass off the debutants from the back. This is a particularly difficult event for most of the twits. One of the ones that takes the most time on this extremely exacting course. And the crowd are getting oh excited. God. And I think some of the twits are getting rather excited too. And it's Simon. It's Simon into the lead. Closely followed by Nigel. And it's the final event now. They have to shoot themselves to become upper class pretty of the year. Simon can't get the bra off his finger. It's Nigel there. Nigel misses. Simon misses. Nigel misses again. And Gervais has shot himself. Gervais is upper class pretty of the year. Vivian is there. He's not having any luck. Simon shoots. Simon has shot Vivian. Simon has shot Vivian into second place. And Simon shoots himself. Simon is third. And Nigel, oh Nigel trapped God. himself into fourth place. And so, the final result, first and upper class put of the year, Gervais Brookhamster of Kensington, runner-up, Vivian Smith Smythe Smith of Mayfair, and third, Simon Zink Trumpet Harris of Kensington. Well, there'll certainly be some car door slamming in the streets of Kensington tonight. Hello and welcome to Munich for the 27th City Olympiad, an event held traditionally every 3.7 years, which this year has brought together competitors from over 4 million different countries. And uh, here we are at the start of the first event of the afternoon, the second semi-final of the 100 yards for people with no sense of direction. Uh, I'll just give you the competitors. Lane 1 is Kolomoski of Poland. Lane 2 is Zatapatik of France. Lane 3, Grobovich of the United States. Next to him, Drabble of Trinidad. Next to him, Fernandez of Spain. And in the outside lane, Borman of Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> well, that 
was fun, wasn't it? And now over to the other end of the stadium. And here we're just waiting for the start of the 1500 meters for the death. And they're under starters' orders. Well, we'll be coming back the moment there's any action. And now over to the swimming. And you join us here at the Bundes Absurd Pool just in time to see the start of the 200 metres freestyle for non-swimmers. For non-swimmers. Watch for the top Australian champion, Ron Barnett, in the second lane. Oh! <laughs> Well, we'll be bringing you back here the moment they start fishing the corpses out. But now over to Hans Clegg for the start of the marathon for incontinence. Well, we've got an enormous entry for this event. 44 competitors from 29 different countries, all of them with the most superbly weak bladders. Not a tight sphincter in sight, ready to embark nevertheless on the world's longest race. And they're just aching to go. Gets it. And they're off, they're off. Well, uh... <laughs> Well, back at the 1500 metres, uh, the starters have a magnificent show. We've had boys, rapid, uh, scattered, random, far, fuselage, firing, we're in sick. Can't get that from that Enough to make you chew your own foot off. And now the high jump. Katarina Ovalensky for the Soviet Union. But what a jump! What a jump! That's got to be a record! <laughs> Here we are at the 3,000 meter steeplechase for people who think they're chicken. There's Samuelson of the United States, and over there is Charles Gibby's Germany. He's been a Rhode Island Red now for the last three Olympics. Now the referee trying to get them going, but he's right now. There's the leader, Abe Siegel of Canada, who went off, got a very good start, then settled down there on the water jump, and is now gone. And now we're back with the marathon for incontinence once again. There's Polinski of Poland in the lead. And, and now a brewer of Australia has taken over. There's the party across, but a brewer has overtaken him, but he's got a spend a penny. There goes Bruce, spend a penny. And there goes Koenig of Austria. And so now it's Alvarez of Cuba, followed by the lucky Norwegian ball. Mm. They're in and out by Jojo. He's going to then Mendon. Mendon, the Scottish knife, but he can't hold it. And Matjevic, Matjevic of Yugoslavia has taken over. He can't hold it either. Well, well, he's supposed to be some of the weakest God. bladders ever to represent their country. And now let's have a look back at what's going on down on stage. Oh my God, that's hilarious. I want to say, the upper class food of the year. I think some people in uh, government should compete in that, uh, in those Olympics or those competitions, the, the upper class twit of the year competition. <laughs> We need some people in government to uh, partake because I think they'd qualify. <laughs> I'm not going to say who you can uh, you can fill in the blanks yourself. But anyway, <laughs> no, Monty Python is probably one of my favorite things that I'm reacting to right now because like every sketch of there is I'm just on the floor, not really on the floor, but like, you know what I mean? Just like hysterical laughing so funny anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the reaction before i go i just want to quickly shout out my patrons thanks to my patrons for supporting me my patreon is my members only site where you get benefits such as early access to my videos and my complete unedited uncensored reaction videos and patron shout outs if you're a top tier patron so a huge thank you to joseph Ryan, daniel reese kane robin andy hypno bob chris robin lugo bios b carl allen emil julian paul steve-o sam and patrick thanks again for watching and see you next time bye